I'm going to be showing you some of the best settings that you need to use right now if you want to boost FPS and lower input delay in all games. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you a few very useful settings to optimize windows and games and to fix any and all FPS drops, lags or stutters, lower input delay and boost FPS in all the games that you might play. But before jumping into the video, just take a quick second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button because a lot of you are watching these videos without even being subscribed so yeah without any further ado let's dive straight into today's video the very first thing that you need to do is download the x mouse button control setup i will leave the link down below in the description just go ahead and download it from there once you have it downloaded just go ahead and install it and it should be running in your taskbar double click on it to open it up and go into the settings then just go ahead and make sure default is selected click on settings then go into the pointer tab and make sure that the mouse speed is set to 5 and also this is checked also make sure that enhanced pointer precision is unchecked and then go into the advanced tab once you are here go ahead and check the debounce ignore rapid mouse button clicks and go ahead and set it to one millisecond also go ahead and check the fix up debounce tilt wheel auto repeat and go ahead and set this to one as well as this to one make sure to copy all of the settings as i have and then just go ahead and set the cpu priority to high i know some people will tell you to set it to real time but in my opinion high is much better as it's not too much and also not too little in the priority scale so yeah just go ahead and click on ok also make sure to go ahead and hit apply here so that the changes are applied once you're done with that you can close out of this and just go ahead and keep it running in the background this next setting is for the nvidia users so the amd users can skip this step go ahead and right click and open up your nvidia geforce experience or you can just go ahead and search it from the start menu and open it up from there but once you are here go ahead and click on this gear icon to open up the settings scroll down to image scaling and make sure that this is turned on so once you have turned it on go ahead and set it to 77% on the render resolution and also make sure that the sharpen is set to around 50%. This is going to go ahead and help you boost frame rates as you can see here for the optimized games and applications using GPU scaling and sharpening. So just go ahead and set it to 77% set the sharpen to anywhere between 40 to 50%. I just like to keep it at 50% as that's the best balance between the performance and the visuals as well. Another little thing that you can do is go ahead and disable in-game overlay in case you don't record with the geforce experience but since i do i'm gonna go ahead and keep it on otherwise i highly recommend you to go ahead and disable this as well another little thing that you can do is go ahead and uncheck the automatically download driver updates and also disable the notifications so that none of these notifications pop up when you are gaming and also it does not automatically download the drivers in the background unless you approve so once you're done with this go ahead and close out of this and moving on to the next step go ahead and open up your start menu and search for keyboard go ahead and open up the keyboard control panel and just make sure that the repeat delay is set to short and repeat rate is set to fast hit apply hit ok and now you can go ahead and restart your pc and you will see a huge difference in both your mouse and keyboard input delay as well as the fps if you followed all of these steps but before clicking off of this video just make sure to hit that like button so that the video can reach more people and help them as well and if you haven't already subscribed then make sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a brand new video with that said i guess i'll see you in the next one until then stay awesome